Uh, welcome back. So the second half of 9.6 is, uh, this is video two, solving logarithmic equations. Well, to solve log logarithmic equations, you have to remember this. Make sure you have to review this. The first one is the basic conversion writing logarithmic to exponential. That's what we use. So number one is being commonly used when you solve logarithmic equations. So let me show you at least one example each. Please do the problem because if I go too long, then the YouTube, they cut me off because I think uh, I cannot go more than like 10 or 12 minutes. So I'm going to show you one example each using all those properties and uh, do the homework and let me know I can do the follow-up video. So the first one is the equations with a single log. So look, there's only one log. So in this case, we're ready to convert. So we're going to use number one. So if it's a logarithmic, we can easily convert into exponential. So which is, how do you do it? So we always write the value. So here, so here, what the value is, so look, what the value is x. So then in this case, the value is 8x minus 6. What the base never changes? So this one here. That's your simple conversion from logarithmic to exponential. So now from here is easier. So 8x minus so 4 to the third power is 64. Now it is two-step linear equation move and divide. So negative 6, it become plus 6. So is 8x equals um, 8x equals 70. So then here is the x equals 70 over 8. And make sure you plug back in. And uh, if, when you plug back in, you must not have a negative answer. So remember, it's quite possible in this case. So it could be no, no solution. Or you have two solutions and maybe one is valid because the log of negative number is not possible. So you must plug back here. So in this case, we, when you plug back in, it will work. So here is a, yeah, so when you plug back, it's a positive number. So this one is the answer here. So, okay, that is the equation of the single log. Convert to exponential and solve for x. And make sure when you plug back x here, this number here, it must be positive. Keeping in mind, log of negative number is not possible. There is the... The second one is equation with the two logs. So the B, you can call B. So equations with two logs. Okay, so here's a quick example. For example, solve. What carefully because they're all similar. Log of x plus log of x minus 3 equals 1. Okay. So this is the equation with the two log. So now in this case, uh, the first step is we want to condense into single log. Well then if you remember those logarithmic rules, so is the log number 2, log of m plus log of n they always equal log of m times n. So we're going to use number 2. So we're going to condense into one log. So log of x times x minus 3 equals 1. Okay. And we also know the log log is the same as log base 10. Remember, log has log base 10. We know that it's a common log. So then... We're going to write this one into exponential. We are back to the same thing again. I mean, equation with a single log. So then is the value. So we're going to write this x times x minus 3. That is the value. What is the base is 10. 10 to the power 1. That's how you convert. So now make sure you distribute. It's x squared minus 3x. 10 to the power 1 is 10. On the other side, it becomes minus 10 equal 0. That's your quadratic equation with the, the second degree quadratic equation. So we can always use the x method. So it's a negative 10, negative 3, so negative 5, positive 2. Well, then the solution is always the opposite of those factors since your leading coefficient is 1. So the x equals, 
What is the opposite of negative 5? Is 5 and x equal, what is the opposite of positive 2? Is a negative 2. Now, before you box, we have to check. So now, in this case, look, log of 5, what is 5 minus 3? Is 2. So x equal 5 is a valid solution. When you plug this one in, look, log of negative 2. Not possible. Negative 2 minus 3. So this means we have only one solution here. So this one is rejected. Because log of negative number is not possible. Okay? That's the equation with the two logs. And the last one is the equation with log on the both sides. So the C is the equations with logs on both sides. And we will use here, remember, if the log is on both sides, well, then you can always cancel number 5. Log cancel, and the value is always equal. But let me show you an example. Um, for example, here, it says log base 7 of x plus 1 and uh, plus log base 7 of x minus 1. Make sure the base must be the same. Well, this side is log base 7 of 8. Okay, so that's your third case. And remember, if it's a plus, it's going to lead us to number 2. If it's a minus, it becomes the division. So make sure minus will be the division m over n, and plus will be m times n. And if there's a log both sides, we have to condense this side with the one log, and then we cancel the log. So plus is going to lead us to number two. So the log base seven. So then going to be x plus one, x minus one. That product. So equals log base seven of eight. So now we're using number five. So the thing is, if there's a log with the same base on the both sides, you can always ignore this. This one. And the value is always equal. The value, this is a plus b times a minus b. So remember x squared, a squared minus b squared equals 8. So then here is the x squared equals 9 because negative 1 is positive 1. And the square root property is square root of 9 is 3. So x equals positive 3 or negative 3. So now in this case here, Uh, we can check. So let's plug in positive 3 first. So here is the 3 plus 1, 3 is a positive. 3 minus 1 is a positive. So x equal 3 is a solution. On the other side, if you put x equal negative 3, so this will be negative, this will be negative. So this one is the answer. Well, then remember x equal negative 3 is rejected. Oh, so the answer is just x equal 3. That is uh, your uh, 9.6. The second part, which is uh, solving logarithmic equations, uh, equations with the logs on both sides. And the C, the B is the uh, uh, equation with the two logarithms. And the first one was equation with a single log. We remember, the, this is the main part is how we convert it. Well, then if it is a plus, plus leave us to multiplication. If it is a minus, well, then we divide the values. And uh, if it is sometimes there is an n, we need to take care of the power. And if you remember, number 5 is being used when there is a log on both sides. So if there is a log on both sides, you can always ignore the log and equate their values. Okay? So do the homework. Let me know. Uh, we have just one more week after this. We have two more lectures. Let's see how far we can go, chapter 10, but uh, at least one or two, two sections for sure from chapter 10. Thank you. We'll see you next time.